Simplifying the cosine of a plus b. We can simplify the cosine of a plus b by expressing it in terms of trigonometric functions of just a and just b. Our final result is that the cosine of a plus b equals the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a times the sine of b, which we'll prove here. First, we'll draw two right triangles, one with angle a and the other with angle b, and these two angles share a common adjacent of length v. We'll build the other sides of these right triangles, w, x, y, and z, accordingly. Our first step is to use the law of cosines. The law of cosines relates an angle and a triangle to the lengths of the three sides. In this case, we'll consider the angle a plus b, and then the three sides of the larger triangle are x, z, and w plus y. So by the law of cosines, w plus y squared equals x squared plus z squared minus 2xz cosine a plus b. And now our goal is to isolate this cosine a plus b term. So first we can expand w plus y squared into w squared plus y squared plus 2wy, which equals x squared plus z squared minus 2xz cosine a plus b. And we can apply the Pythagorean theorem twice now. w squared in the top triangle is equal to x squared minus v squared. And similarly, y squared in the bottom triangle is equal to z squared minus v squared. And now notice that we have x squared and z squared on both sides of this equation, so they cancel out, leaving us minus 2v squared plus 2wy equals minus 2xz cosine a plus b. So that's our result, and we can simplify it further by first multiplying through by negative 1 to give us 2v squared minus 2wy equals positive 2xz cosine a plus b. And dividing through by 2 leaves us with v squared minus wy equals xz cosine a plus b. At this point, we'll divide both sides by xz, leaving us cosine of a plus b equals v squared over xz minus wy over xz. Now we can express this in terms of a plus b by some further simplifications. v squared over xz is equal to v over x times v over z, and wy over xz is equal to w over x times y over z. And we'll note that the sine of a in our triangle on top is w over x, and the cosine of a is v over x. Similarly, in the bottom triangle, the sine of b is y over z, while the cosine of b is v over z. So if we plug these in to our equation for cosine of a plus b, we get the final simplification, that the cosine of a plus b is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a times the sine of b. And if you have trouble remembering this, here's a method. When you have the cosine of the sum of two angles, just write down cosine cosine minus sine sine, and you can fill in a and b later.